good morning my loves and welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here then welcome hope we're all doing really really well just thought i'd film this weekend and what i'm getting up to because i'm going to do a little bit of baby shopping i'm going to go to ikea and have a little look around there do some shopping for the nursery which is really really exciting first of all this morning we are on our way to the airbnb to what's the word re replenish we've had someone in recently so we're going to go in redo the bed so i'm going to take you a little look for a little tour around the airbnb put our new bedding on and we sort of replenish it and then we've got a cleaner coming in this afternoon i thought we would take you along for the ride and i hope you enjoy Mwah. This angle is definitely not the one, babes. Just finished doing the beds at the house, but the cleaner was actually there, so we didn't do a we didn't do a house tour. But we're gonna knit back later on. I will do a little house tour, take you round, and obviously I'll be able to chat to you properly then. Little update. So I am currently 20, 28 weeks pregnant, which is just crazy, like absolutely insane. I cannot believe how quick the time's going. Like people say it how quick the time goes but until you actually experience how quick time's going like it's just crazy <sighs> i am starting to feel it i am feeling it in the best way possible but yeah i feel very very heavy i feel like my ho my whole lower half is like aching and i've had this like pain like shooting pain in the top of my left leg I think it might be like a little bit of sciatica like the baby's on the sciatic nerve or something like that let me tell you there's absolutely nothing that helps that there's no amount of stretching or massaging or rubbing can do to get rid of the pain it's so so painful i've just got to keep moving some people have said put ice on it some people have said put heat on it so i'm just currently like living with that at the minute but it's not that bad in the grand scheme of things i feel like i've really i've had it very very easy and so yeah i am now on tiktok i've started uploading tiktoks i want to do tiktoks quite regularly i was always against tiktok because i was like oh it's a big waste of time like people spend too much time scrolling through tiktok so i didn't have it or i had it but i didn't have the app on my phone <laughs> Anyway, recently I've decided to have a little bit of a switch switcheroo in it. The type of videos that I've started watching, because I thought they were all like dancing videos and things like that, which is fantastic if that's what you're into. But I thought like it just wasn't the type of content that I liked or that I would ever see myself doing. But then I started, the more I started watching things on TikTok, the more things that were more videos that were coming to, to me that i was interested in love watching skincare routines makeup videos house resets like all that jazz i love all that kind of stuff and i thought there's absolutely no reason why i can't do that kind of thing as well what i eat in a day is i love them i just feel like in terms of my fitness journey as it was during my pregnancy i feel like i have a lot to discuss um, a lot Ah, that'll teach me for flailing my hands about whilst I'm talking. I just ripped my earring out. I feel like I have a lot to say. <laughs> Shock. In terms of my keeping fit and my, my diet and my exercise during my pregnancy. And so I kind of want to document that on TikTok as well. Obviously, I'm never going to stray away from YouTube because I love YouTube and I love long form videos and I love watching them and I love... Uh, doing them but i do feel like tiktok is the way forward now and when i'm on tiktok i give myself 10 minutes 10 or 15 minutes i won't sit there scrolling for hours because it is deadly you guys know i am an advocate for putting your phone away and not being on your phone yeah 
I feel like I'm ranting now. But yeah, Stefan's just snipped into the shop. I thought I'd wait in the car. Have a chat to my little honeys because obviously I've not been here for a while. Go and follow me over on TikTok. My name on TikTok is the same as my Instagram, which is joadb underscore Al. Link it down below. I've currently got 18 followers, so I'm thriving over there. And if there's anything you want to see from me on my TikTok, do let me know. Also, I've been selling loads of stuff on Vinted because obviously I'm like the size of a house now and so nothing actually fits. And people keep saying to me, but you will get back into those things. And yes, I will. And some, obviously, I've not sold everything that I own, but I've sold a lot of my gym stuff that was probably tight for me before I was pregnant anyway. I was just kidding myself. Anywho, I'll link my little vintage thing down below. You're right, babes. I'm all right, gorgeous. And I'm going to start selling all Stefan's clothes as well. No, I'm joking. So, yeah, so what I like to do is take pictures of everything, which I did the other day. I feel like it's quite. Oh, don't worry about us. I do feel like it's really, really time consuming, but once it's done, it's done. And I actually quite find it quite an enjoyable process. I take pictures of everything so that the pictures are all on my phone. And then when I've got like 10 minutes spare, I'll just sit and like, just put one on after the other, after the other. So yeah, I just find that like an easier way of doing it. I'll link my little vintage thing down below. I'm gonna have a look at what I have to offer. <laughs> Good afternoon, angels. Now we are some time on since we last spoke. So since then we've been to the gym. The gym was kind of busy, so I didn't really film in there. We've been home, we've had something to eat. And then we had a little afternoon power nap. Because this is what happens. I'm now 28 years old. I'm knocking on a bit. In the afternoon, a, a nap is required. Probably got something to do with the fact that I'm pregnant as well. Up at five. We was up at five. We was up at five, that is correct. Oh so yes, so we had a little nap and now we are, well, we're just pulling up at Ikea. There's a few little bits and bobs we need. When I was a kid, this was a day out. Obviously, Ikea are famous for the meatballs and I don't really know why. I'm not a meatball kind of gal, they're okay. I have tried them since since coming here with Stefan on the regular. <laughs> we treat ourselves to the Swedish meatballs every now and then, but I don't know what the massive deal is, do you? They're okay, it's but... Just something that you have when you come here. Yeah, we just had a little coffee on the go with a little protein bar. Because gone are the days that we go to Starbucks and Costa Coffee nowadays. We, we make our own and bring it with us. Because we're mum and dad and we're sensible. So we won't be treating, treating ourselves. Tweeting ourselves? Tweeting ourselves. We won't be treating ourselves to any Swedish meatballs today because we're going for an Indian tonight, which I'm so excited for. We've been dying for an Indian for a long time. And tonight is the night. We said if we eat really well this week, we'll treat ourselves to a nice Indian tonight. Do you know what you're getting already? Because yeah. I do. Chicken gel frazy. Chicken gel frazy with? Pissoiri naan. And? Uh, pilai rice. Pilai rice. I always go for... Uh, papadoms. Oh yeah, I would love a good papadom. Tandoori chicken. Tandoori chicken shashlik with uh, masala sauce. I might treat myself to a garlic naan. <laughs> What's it like? Oh, oi oi. Keep me like one of your French girls. <laughs> is it comfy? It is. I'm a little blast on this. This is what we need, isn't it? <laughs> he says it's a firm one. Firm one. Help me up, babes. Come on, my dog. <laughs> Oh, so far I've got absolutely nothing for the baby. <laughs> Just got this big baby testing out beds. Oh. I love that. that. How nice is that? It's a bit big and go in that room. Yeah, it's very big. So it can be turned into a bed, that. Can it? Yeah. And that's not too bad. No. Oh, that's nice. Look at this setup. Not me again, just absolutely rinsing this blazer because what else do I ever wear? 
<laughs> I just, I feel like a blazer just makes me put together. Like my dad asked me if I was up in court the other day just because I literally wear a blazer every single day. Anywho, the outfit is nothing special, so we're on our way to our little Indian now. I'm so excited. And I've just got this tube dress on. It's nothing special and the material is not great. It's from Pretty Little Things, so I won't recommend it or link it down below. And it's very, very tight. Very tight indeed. Um, but that's just the story of my life. It's not what you need when you're going for a big meal. No. I mean, it's got a bit of stretch in it, but it's just not. Uh, and some little sandals on, which are not cute because I've also not done my toes in a while and I'm getting to the point where I can't really reach them now. So I think Stefan's gonna have to step in there and do me a little French mani. <laughs> Pedi, pedicure. Gonna talk the hunter your outfit or what have you got on? T-shirt and jeans. Yeah, what's your, your t-shirt from? <laughs> sure, I don't know, baby. I don't know where the from. Oh, he gets shot. He's got Lacoste, he's got one of them little crocodiles on it. I will do a little uh, Ikea haul at some point, possibly tomorrow, because we're going to put the cot up tomorrow. Oh, I'll show you what we got. Because uh, we got a few bits and bobs, didn't we? Yep. I'll be honest, I feel like I could do with a couple of scoop of Roonies tonight. <laughs> Wait, what's what, your thoughts? Ice cream. What? Of ice cream. No, no alcohol. <laughs> Obviously not. But like, I'm not I'm not a big drinker. I used to be a big drinker. I, I make no secret of that. But I didn't have a problem. I just, I just like drinking at the weekends. Not really a big drinker now, but I think because I know I can't have a drink, I fancy like a little Baileys or something. It's like a little glass of wine. I don't even like wine, but I think because, because I can, I'm like, oh, how nice would it be? Just like a little glass of wine. Will you be having a little drinky poo? I'll be having a beer, yeah. You seem really happy about that. Yeah, I'm not excited, but I'll be having a beer. I'll be having a soda water and lime. Happy Sunday, my loves. Uh, apologies for the abrupt ending last night. We had our Indian. Um, we enjoyed it very much, didn't we? And we ate ourselves into the biggest food coma. But we came home, got nice and chilled, and we watched John Wick 2. Well, we watched a half of it, and then I was falling asleep. And so, yes, we are up nice and early, 20 to 6, just on our way to Rivington Pike. We've got Charlie B in tow. He loves it, doesn't he? No. <laughs> he hates it. I've never known a dog to not want to go for a walk. So we get him up early every single morning. And it's like, he just does not, he's just not a fan of it. We have to trap him in the kitchen to get his harness on. He's just not, it's just not a fan. We're chasing him around the living room this morning. Um, yeah, it's just not, it's just not an easy task. Here we are, we're here. He might not be happy about it, but he's here. And he's absolutely fine once we get, once we get out. It's just that initial getting up. But isn't it hard for us all charlie it's not just you these are my favorite kind of mornings my favorite kind of sundays getting up and early up out up <laughs> up out out in, in out shake it all about you do the hokey pokey and you turn around that's what it's all about my favorite kind of sundays so happy sunday everyone happy sunday everyone Woo There are many, many different routes to the top of Rivington. However, we do choose to come probably the most difficult one. <laughs> okay, Charlie, go. <laughs> Did you find that difficult? No, it wasn't too bad. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Easy for me. Easy peasy. I knew it was going to be hard. I was contemplating changing our location this morning and maybe going somewhere a bit flatter. What was you thinking about that? Yeah. We made it. I'm very proud of myself. And you. Yeah. Well, even though it was, you could have done that in your sleep. Oh, 
cameras just fell over. Oopsie. <laughs> Just got to document this absolutely inspirational quote there at Rivington Pike this morning. Well done, you made it. Cute! Can we just talk about those steep, steep stairs there? That is like the final nail in the coffin on your way up there. I've got some good pictures of my little man. Will you be careful? You've got a bloody baby inside you. You're walking with the camera and you're coughing in your other hand. Chin chin, honeys. We're on the home stretch now, baby. We're on the way down. It's easy. We're such a dad. <laughs> and just like that, our morning walk, <laughs> you're a knob. Morning walk is done and dusted, and I look absolutely dishevelled. <sighs> this is a very, very adult thing, right? But I put a wash on last night and set it so that it would start early this morning so that it would be finished by the time we got back from our walk. Is that a really sensible adult, very organised thing to do? Yes it is, and I feel good that that is done and I know that I can just peg it out when I get home, which is just phenomenal. Another thing which I'm really recommending at the minute, which is what, what we've been doing, is as to click and collect to do our weekly food shop and we get the majority of our stuff and I'm really not finding it any more expensive than Aldi. Sometimes it's a little bit cheaper. I've booked a slot for uh, between 9.30 and 10. So we're gonna go home, have some breakfast, get some washing out, ooh, exciting. And then go and pick our food shop up. Yay! So it's traipsing around uh, the shop, doesn't it? Yeah, it's like 50p. Like you, you pay 50p to go and collect it and you pull up they bring the stuff out and just load it into your boot and it's just so much easier. Tell me a worse smell than a freshly opened packet of chicken fridge raiders. Disgusting. So we've just been, we've been to Asda, we picked up our click and collect and then we nipped into Aldi for some little bits that we couldn't get from Asda. We're in there, I got some apples. I was looking for some pink lady apples, well they didn't have any. Rude. Got a protein shake each and Stefan got some lovely smelling chicken bites. Now we're on our way to the house, which I said I would do a little house tour yesterday, I didn't get to do that. So yeah, so I'm gonna show you around our Airbnb because it's somewhere you've never been before. Well, you came with us yesterday to see the bedrooms, but I'm gonna show you the rest of the house. So you come in through the front door and you are greeted by this. Absolutely. <laughs> and you're greeted by this beautiful butler in the book. Basically, for those of you that don't know, this was Stefan's house before he moved in with me. And we now have this house on Airbnb, so we've done it up so that we can have guests stay, etc. What I'll do, I'll leave a link in the description for the house so that you can always come and have a little look. So anyway, this is the kitchen. This little breakfast bar and then our little welcome area. We've just decided, we got this from Ikea yesterday and we've got some sweets to put in. So just thought it'd be like a nice welcome thing. This is the downstairs toilet. Probably one of my favorite little rooms actually. It's one of mine since it's had the little shelves and everything yeah. added to it. It just makes it look miles better, doesn't it? Yeah. I think I will put a black tap in there at some point just to finish it off. Finish. We just did little, obviously this house absolutely needed no work doing to it whatsoever. It was just little, little touches. For example, these little shelves which we got from eBay um, and then the little bits and bobs that you can see on there, they, they were all just from B&M. This mirror was also from B&M. Basket was from B&M. And then this little towel holder was actually from eBay as well. Then we come through here into the dining room. So we usually just have the dining room all set out. Uh, for when people come to stay and then in here is the living room this does pull out and it can be used as like a king size bed probably even bigger than a king size so that's that and then we have the garden outside stairs obviously you saw the bedrooms yesterday when we was doing the beds but we have this little third bedroom here the little mirror and then this little setup we saw in ikea and we thought we'd pinch that idea because we really liked it with the three lights at different lengths and then obviously the mirror in the background these prints i just got from etsy i think the headboard we actually made because i wanted something like that but they were really really expensive and so I thought it would be easy enough to make which it was so we did that then we have probably one of my favorite bedrooms which 
is like the green room. It feels very, very zen in this room. Just with that colour, I love it so much. We've, we're thinking about having a colour like that in our nursery at home. Just because it's just so calming. It's just a really, really calm room. Love this room. And we got ourselves one of them yesterday from Ikea. One of those uh, lampshades because I really like that as well. This room has a TV. And a nice full length mirror. Then this is the master bedroom with the king size bed. That mirror was from B&M. That was from Ikea. The bed in here is from B&M. We decided to do the wall like this and we got sheets of MDF. We just went to our local wood yard, gave them like certain measurements and got them to cut each strip like that. We was initially going to paint them white, but then when we put them up, we actually really liked them that colour. And we thought it just really went with the, the vibe of the room. These little bedside table lights, love them. They were from Dunelm, I think. This little setup is all from B&M. The bed is from Dusk, and this one's king size. Bedside tables were already here. We just utilise them. I just changed the handles on them. Um, so I got these little things from eBay. Because uh, I think they had silver, they had like little silver knobs on them. So I changed them to gold. This room has an ensuite. We didn't really change much in here. Just obviously added this little thing. Um, got these little things from B&M. Just gives it a nice little touch. And then finally, we have the family bathroom. In here, we changed just a couple of things. We changed this so that it's got a black tap. Um, Stefan got this shower screen, which I think was probably from eBay. We put a black towel rail in. We added these little shelves, which I really want to put some in our bathroom at home, just because I just feel like they just add a little bit of something else to a room, a little bit of decoration or whatever. You could even pop your little towels up there or whatever. This little thing I, th I always feel like add something we've got one of these at home and um, just adds a little bit of something to a room these which i love they were from b and m little mirror in here which was from ikea i think and so yeah it was just little cosmetic things that just make such a big difference to the house The house was absolutely stunning anyway, like it really did not need anything doing to it, but it just, we just updated it a bit, didn't we babes? Just decorated yeah. it and- Put your touch on it. Put my little spin on it. I would like to say that we did it on a budget, just because everything was like Ikea, B&M, Dunelm. Yeah, we recarpeted though, didn't we? Yeah, we recarpeted, which obviously added to the, um, to the expenses. But in terms of just all the like little finishing touches and stuff, everything was like B and M, IKEA, Dunelm. So, and a lick of paint. And a lick of paint. But other than that, yeah, I really hope you like it. Hello, my darlings. It's like so out of breath from just walking upstairs. Like, am I okay? For a couple of days on now, I can't even remember the last time I picked the camera up. I was just doing like a bit of a weekend vlog. I think I showed you around the house on Sunday, and then we literally just did the rounds. I went and saw family. And then, before we do it, Sunday was over with. Just wanted to end this video by, just by showing you the few little bits that I got for, uh, from Ikea for the nursery. I, uh, this is really boring and I'm sure I'm sick to death of hearing me say it, but I'm sick of cleaning this house and tidying this house. I clean and tidy, clean and tidy, and it just never ends. It's just, I just cannot cope. Anyway, I wanna sit down and do some editing today, so I am not tidying up. I'm not doing it. I'm just gonna sit in my own shit all day. Anyway, so I just wanted to show you the few bits that we got from Ikea. We went for, I'll link everything down below. This was the cot that we got. So the, the mattress starts here, the bed starts here and then it lowers obviously as he gets older. These are, I am learning. I am learning, I did not know that cots did this. And then the front of it, when he gets a bit bigger, um, comes off and it will then transform into like a little bed. The mattresses are separate, so we got a mattress as well for him. Everything's still wrapped up, so this is not even exciting, is it? So like some little cushions, little pillows, but obviously they don't go in because like the bed is just a bed, just flat, like 
you put the baby in it, you, you don't have anything else around it. I think that's for obviously when he gets a little bit older. I've got a mattress protector and um, some fitted sheets for the mattress. So just plain white bedding set again this is a bit premature but they did loads of lovely little beddings bedding sets so we picked one of them up but obviously they'll go in the attic until he's obviously older and then i just got this blanket it's just this like whitey creamy color i saw these and i couldn't walk past them so they're just like some little balls little knives and forks and some cups they were just so cheap that i couldn't like this is overkill like one baby are we really going to need all this but very possibly i'm not sure there's one two three four five six balls there um and obviously matching cutlery and cups and i just thought they were just so cute this lampshade which i'm obsessed with I have that uh, in one of the rooms at the airbnb and i just I love that lampshade i did get it thinking maybe we'll put it in our room but no it looks really really cute in here yeah so we didn't get tons and tons from ikea but we got what we went for which was obviously the cot bed so the baby shopping continues i think we're gonna go to there's a shop called the baby store which is about half an hour away from us which is it's actually near the ikea and we was gonna go there on sunday but we ended up not with much time so we might go there this weekend and obviously take you there as well but for now these are just the little bits that i got and i just wanted to show you i feel like i mentioned earlier in the vlog cat I think I did that I am struggling with it I've got this like pain down my leg messaged my midwife and she's still not got back to me but when I've looked online like there's literally nothing you can really do I think it's sciatic nerve pain and I'm not one for morning and I feel like I've been really really blessed throughout this pregnancy that I've been absolutely fine but yesterday like it literally tipped me over the edge to the point where I was like I was crying to paracetamol I had a hot bath didn't help made it worse and then got in bed really early because i just felt horrendous and i hate feeling like that like i said i feel like i've been really really lucky to feel so great throughout this pregnancy and to deal with just a little bit of pain down one leg i can deal with it that has that has been painful that has really took a little toll on me other than that everything is hunky dory so yes i really really hope you enjoyed this little vlog I know what I didn't do on my last vlog, um, I didn't give you any recommendations, so I've got quite a few. If you haven't seen the Barbie film, go and watch the Barbie film. There are mixed reviews, but please don't take anybody else's opinion on board. Go and watch it with an open mind, take it for what it is. I absolutely loved it, to the point where I will go and watch it again with my mum. I just loved it. I loved, there was like a deep meaning to it. There was, it was very, I felt like it was really empowering. As a woman, I was like crying, shock, horror, crying, like yes power to the women love that for us on the on the other side the more fun side of it like the outfits the hairstyles the music just i just loved it like it really took me back to being a child and i really really loved it hijack if you haven't been watching hijack where have you been sister you need to watch hijack everyone that's watched it has raved about it it's unreal and another one which is a little bit of a rogue show for me i'm not an action um an action film kind of gal however stefan loves the john wick films and i know he's seen them all before we, we put it on like halfway through it was like on one of the sky channels the other week and i actually got really into it so i was like turn it off let's watch it from the beginning we're on the second john wick film at the minute and i'm really really enjoying that what else what else what else i really want to watch the summer i turned pretty i've not seen that the one about the furies that looks good on Netflix. My mum's recommended that. I haven't watched that yet. And yeah, I think that's everything. Thank you so, so much for watching. And I will see you all in my next one. Go and follow me over on Instagram and TikTok. It's at jodeb underscore. And I will see you next week. Bye. Mwah.